everyone, Professor Muhammad Sharif with you. Um, our subject today is about uh, uh, photovoltaic uh, combined with horizontal axial wind turbine for uh, standalone application. Actually, it is not uh, a new model. We demonstrated that uh, before. Uh, uh, you have to refer to our previous uh, videos about uh, photovoltaic horizontal X for uh, reverse smoothies uh, desalination plant as an uh, desalination uh, application. Uh, first of all, you have to you download your model, copy it into your work on working drive, working folder. Okay, this is my working folder, and I have to go here, open MATLAB, then go to your destination folder. Okay, and then you have to click here, sort by name and uh, group by type. So you will find your uh, your model here with photos, um, files, and everything. Uh, let's run our model double clicking okay this is our main model it's about uh, our application attached to a, a, a wind turbine and a photovoltaic system combined with a battery uh, this is a design model so we are going to discover uh, the effect of, of application load on a, a, a photovoltaic area uh, number of modules, number of cells, uh, 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 and so on. And the same for horizontal x one turbine. We are going to discover uh, uh, the effect on uh, tower hub, hub height, uh, tower height, uh, rotor area, and design. It's about design, uh, uh, plant uh, or wind farm uh, uh, area, localized cost or specific power cost. Uh, first of all, you, you have to go here, and uh, this is our main model. We need to set your simulation time into zero. Okay, we 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 can uh, run just a, uh, a zero time domain. Uh, okay, and we can uh, discover more and more about how how can we extract our results. Uh, first of all, uh, suppose I need to uh, assign some uh, parameters. This is my load, so I can. I can uh, select the load, this is load, it's a factory, house, homes, town, whatever, you can just double clicking here and set your limitation, suppose I need to uh, go to for, for high specific power, 500,000 of kilowatts, 500 megawatts, you can assign your, uh, your power based on your uh, application, and for wind farm double clicking you can assign uh, temperature and pressure and uh, what is your module type for large capacity i, I do support to use uh, larger capacity of wind turbine uh, maybe i have to choose 1000 kilowatt module um, okay that means that i am using a, a module type which you can produce 1000 kilowatt or 1 megawatt because we are going for we are going far far with loads okay this is high capacity loads and for photovoltaic you can double click here assign as we demonstrated before i would choose what per meter square module okay and going here okay we can assign some inputs let's go for uh, um, operating hours this is for batteries solar uh, uh, watt per meter square solar flux and design module I, I would choose 280 module type and cost and that's i would keep all this because this is uh, belonging to the battery uh, for the main grid okay main grid uh, okay we can use operating hours and costs okay that's enough for now uh, let's just run and see if we, but here we can choose between uh, photovoltaic horizontal or main grid. Suppose I, I would like to go for photovoltaic and I will divide it, I will, I need to divide the load between a photovoltaic and horizontal axial turbine. If you go for zero, uh, that means that uh, you are uh, going to operate the full system on uh, photovoltaic. If you assigned it at one, that means uh, you are going to operate uh, the full system for uh, uh, horizontal axial turbine. 
suppose I need to go to for, for hit apply, okay, fifty uh, percent, fifty percent load distributed between photovoltaic and horizontal axial turbine. Hit apply, hit okay, and my power suppose it's one thousand or fifty thousand uh, uh, kilowatt. Let's hit saving and hit apply. We prepared everything. Okay, this is your power load. Okay, uh, this is load application. It's um, okay. It's around uh, 50, uh, 50 uh, thousands kilowatt, 50 megawatts. So let's go inside here to the farm and discover. You can discover your air mass flow rate, rotor swept area. Uh, axial force, torque, uh, wind power, and this is your power coefficient. Power coefficient is very low, so we need to choose another module based on your uh, high power. And we are going to use just only a 25 uh, number uh, of uh, horizontal axial turbine. We need just 25 in order to generate uh, around. Uh, uh, 24 ki uh, thousand kilowatt, 24 mega. So we need just uh, or, uh, we, we need just uh, 25 uh, wind turbines, and this is your uh, plant area, uh, farm area, okay. And we have here, uh, okay. This is minimum wind speed or starting wind speed, average wind speed, uh, rotor diameter, okay, and uh, hub height, rotor speed and uh, turbine cost okay so suppose i need to uh, let's go here okay uh, i need to increase the power coefficient of the wind turbine so i need to choose a lower module suppose i need surely it, it will increase the cost but i need to uh, let's go for uh, uh, 500 module let's see if we can increase the power Coefficient. Let's go here and hit run. Okay, it has increased, but the number of uh, of wind turbine uh, has increased too, and surely the total cost. So, uh, it depending on your, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it depending on your uh, uh, your optimization or your uh, uh, design. Let's go for photovoltaic. Let's go for this one, okay, and discover some results. This is total cost, including the batteries, battery storage, and uh, module system uh, area. This module system, and this is your total uh, farm area in order to generate uh, around uh, 25 uh, megawatts of power. Uh, there is no result for, for uh, main grid because we are depending on photovoltaic. Let's go here and discover. Uh, specific power cost. This is your specific power cost. Uh, annual total cost. Surely, we have cost for uh, uh, photovoltaic and horizontal axial turbine, and there is no cost for uh, uh, main grid. Uh, if you would like to run this in in, um, in dynamic mode, you just can sign, click here, and sign infinity, and you can run the model and. Uh, controlling your wheel okay and uh, I forget to inform you that you can if you would like to you can use the code after you download the model you can use the code you'll find the, the code here for, this is for one turbine for, for the same for photovoltaic the same for everything you can copy it and use it in your uh, research activity Okay, um, this is for them. You can set your uh, simulation time in 250 and you can run, uh, uh, use this dial in order to uh, distribute the load between. Um, but it, uh, it, it will show you uh, a manual uh, control. Uh, okay, let's go for another technique of modeling. Let's go for dynamic modeling. So, I suppose I need to close this one. And you will find your result here. You will find your result in. Uh, in MATLAB workspace. Let's go for dynamic modeling, okay, in order to uh, discover more and more results. Okay, for dynamic modeling, uh, this one is a little bit different. Suppose I need to go for uh, a 500 mo module, okay, 500 module. 
and uh, we need uh, this is photovoltaic system I think yes the same okay and four batteries you can assign this if you would like okay okay we have here uh, we have to choose uh, automatically between uh, some uh, parameters you can choose between um, this is a splitter load between a photovoltaic and horizontal axon turbine and uh, we have to assign some limits suppose I need to uh, there is upper limit uh, around 50 mega this 50 mega is for responsible for uh, main grid um, if you go if you exceed it, your load on 50 mega so I have to there is no choice I have to use or utilize uh, the main grid power sure you can uh, you can change this number if you would like you can change your limitation and uh, you can uh, discover your results and for uh, medium ranges I, I would like to operate uh, horizontal axon turbine beside photovoltaic this is for medium ranges um, suppose it's uh, lower than uh, uh, 50 thousand and upper than uh, the lower limit and the lower limit I will consider it for uh, batteries um, I think it is uh, realistic to to go for no more than one mega uh, power of batteries I think you can use hydropower you can use um, you can store your energy in hydropower instead of batteries uh, okay anyway uh, let's go for it's just an example and I, I would like to see uh, I will run within 24 hours okay um, 24 hours okay uh, let's begin from uh, zero I'm sorry let's begin from, begin from zero okay uh, now we are ready saving your uh, uh, surely you can uh, control this you can I can remove this and use a signal builder uh, and I can generate a signal and uh, instead of uh, utilizing this by hand or by uh, manual operating uh, condition uh, saving and let's hit run and see okay the model is running okay, with respect to the time so I, I am increasing the power battery load is operated and uh, there is no load on the batteries okay and if you exceed it uh, you can realize there is a power on photovoltaic and then we have to uh, go for uh, wind turbine okay we are going for wind turbine as you can see here and I can uh, uh, change the load variation between uh, wind turbine and uh, moving keyboard cursor right and left I'm going for 70% uh, load on photovoltaic let's hit back again if I increase I'm now I am working on uh, main grid power as you can see here increasing the main grid power okay and let's hit hit back again suppose I am going now we are operating on horizontal axle turbine and then we we can go through the photovoltaic uh, range okay and this is your batteries and we can stop uh, if you click here in your data inspector you would like to discover more yes in data inspector you can discover all results uh, you can add more slots if you would like okay this is horizontal axon turbine variation and this is uh, photovoltaic variation and this is your battery and um, surely you can control this automatically not manually if you would like main grid power and you can compare main grid power versus horizontal axon turbine if you would like as you can see plus photovoltaic system you can compare see we can compare runs this is my runs uh, number of horizontal axon turbine uh, uh, you can uh, specific cost annual to annual total costs uh, main grid costs battery costs uh, uh, photovoltaic uh, horizontal wind turbine 
you can use uh, this horizontal turbine costs here let's go for uh, uh, module power netway okay this is some results for uh, 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 photovoltaic let's go for I'm searching for specific uh, yes a specific power price okay I forget to uh, send it to e yes okay I, I should uh, I should send this one to a data inspector okay and saving and let's see if you if I choose if I run the model again let's begin from here uh, you can change your uh, considerations if, if you go here and double clicking this is your control control panel yes this is your control panel. you can change your because um, uh, more than the upper limit the, uh, I, I, I will use uh, Mingrid between upper limit and uh, uh, medium limit this is horizontal wind turbine and uh, lower than uh, medium limit and upper than the lower limit uh, I will choose to work or to be operated between uh, photovoltaic and uh, uh, horizontal uh, and uh, horizontal axial turbine and the rest of four batteries uh, suppose I need to uh, operate the system from here let's hit on again and see let's go for batteries okay this is photovoltaic okay increasing now we we need to operate photovoltaic and okay and photovoltaic and horizontal axial turbine okay and main grid okay and we can return it back again okay let's hit stop um, suppose I need to increase the limits you can increase the limits this is lower limit uh, this is medium limit okay between this one and, and this one you can operate uh, as a photovoltaic system um, saving let's, let's hit back here and you can uh, compare a specific uh, power price yeah, from here they have to wait a little bit okay uh, specific power price I think it is yes, this one uh, US dollar per kilowatt hour okay varying according to your uh, data results okay you can uh, see you can realize this one by changing uh, for uh, working on uh, okay this is Let's say the stop again. Let's see. Uh, finally, I would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model. Don't forget to uh, like, share, and uh, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.